Well, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nina, the simple Kenyan girl. This is yet another video of productivity. So if you're new, welcome. If you love my content, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get all of them coming right your way. So today I'm going to be talking about just 10 more tips. If you haven't watched a video that I, I did a very long time ago about productivity, uh, please go check it out. And then this one is an updated one. So by updated, I mean, it's, it has all the things like as of the moment, you know, the way social media is up. So a lot of things have been uh, a little bit compromised. You can, you can spend your time a lot doing just one thing or just Netflixing or just watching something for a very long time. And then you lose focus on what you're supposed to do. So this video is going to help you be able to know where you should put more of your focus and energy on. So if you love such content, please make sure you comment down below and give this video a like. So let's get started. Productivity is just not all about work. It's all about even goals, how you can be able to focus more on your goals. How, what, what will enable you to actually be able to see that goal happen or be able to get to that goal. One of the things that I have realized in doing all this research is most people are extremely consistent. And another thing, they do not procrastinate, whether it's about working out to get that body whether it's about uh, continuing with your business proposal so that you can achieve that business plan, all of that consistency, consistency, consistency. And um, let's just start with the following the two minute rule. So David Allen is a productivity guru who says, if it takes two minutes or less, do it now. Yeah. In a work setting, an example of this is if you have an email, respond to it right away instead of letting it sit on the flood of your inbox. So see it, read it, respond it and move on. That's actually makes you feel like you've been super extremely productive. And that's one of the best rule I've ever had. Like the two minute rule. Yeah, just stick, go, 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 go. Another thing is Take advantage of the focus feature on your phone. So limit the number of overwhelming notific notification that you can get throughout the day or that will increase your work productivity. This is a very good example because you can actually not have notifications. Let's say if YouTube extremely gets you to watch and watch and watch and watch, you can turn off that notification. And then when you are ready, you'll see the notification um, up. When you just get in the YouTube app, you'll see the, the notifications. And that will just keep you up to date. There's no need to just, when you see a topic and the notifications, oh my God. I know it's so tempting. You might just want to click it and go through it. Yeah. Instagram too, Snapchat, all those. You can actually limit that notification. And um, on iPhone, it's, it's under the focus thingy so you can just go and do that yeah another thing is sticking with the work schedule for most productive people a workout isn't bucketed as a chore instead it's scheduled self-care time yeah so this will actually enable you to achieve that goal that you've been procrastinating about or write that email that you've been procrastinating about a lot yeah Another thing, another tip, tip number four, it's prioritizing by having to do lists in order. Uh, you can knock out what needs to be done in order of importance. And this is actually a really nice thing because you know, ah, if I do this, I might not do this. So let me just do this first before I do that. Yeah. And this is actually really nice because you have, nowadays we have phones. It's not a must you have a book because you can misplace it. So you can just put it on your phone and then 
when you're starting to do the thing you just check 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 and you'll see you'll actually feel so satisfied that you accomplished that yeah another thing is having healthy sleep habits if you're new to my channel let me just tell you how much i love talking about the eight hours of sleep it actually helps your brain a lot a lot and drinking lots of water during the day it actually gives you the best sleep at night so yeah keeping our regular sleeping schedule will also help you stick to a routine a consistent routine may be just the thing you need to boost productivity and actually this is so true let's say for example you wake up today at 8 and then tomorrow you wake up at 10 the other day you wake up at 12 the other day you wake up at 6 a.m just because you're going to work let me assure you one thing if you don't have a right sleeping schedule one thing it affects your mental health another thing it affects your brain and the other thing is it affects your productivity so you choose wisely if the best time you can sleep is 8 and then you wake up the next morning by 6 a.m do that if you can sleep by 10 and then you wake up the next morning by around 6 or you know you know what works for you just do what works for you okay and when you do what works for you make sure you know you first before you start doing what works for you okay um another thing is cautiously plan meals this is actually a lifesaver and i'm just not talking about from my own perspective but from the perspective of being a mom because when you have planned meals uh healthy food choices allow you to clearly think and increase your brain power which helps you with your overall productivity what a win-win yeah you don't have to just do a lot of stuff you can just do to just focus on what you're eating if it's super healthy it will boost your brain productivity and your productivity so that's just a win-win yeah another thing is think outside the damn box just don't do things by the rules you can think outside the box and that's where maybe you can have your business idea and you can go with it or that's where you can have something that will really work for you yeah by keeping on a creative mind you are actively trying to figure out how to get tasks done fast and more effectively that is just self-explanatory yeah another thing is finish tasks before you start a new one no 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 no. i know we are women we can multitask we can do all that but let me tell you for a better productivity of something you need to do one thing at a time focus on finishing this book before you go to the next one because let me tell you you won't understand a thing and the explanation for this is focusing on one thing at a time is beneficial for productivity because it leaves less room for error and another thing when you focus on different things at the same time you get exhausted too much because you're like before i go back to that one let me just do it tomorrow like you start procrastinating yeah um yeah so there's a time and place for multitasking use your best judgment when it comes to the delegate deli delegating the time yeah so that is that another thing is do the tasks that dread the most fast so if something you know it's gonna be super exhausting let me just do a very good example for example you know working out like is the hardest thing that you can do do that first and then when you shower like you have this excitement of just doing other tasks and that's the best time because you can be able to plan yourself as of that time you can be able to achieve a lot of stuff especially when you're on the high spirits and another thing if you have a lot of work do that first finish up with that first because the rest will just come easily and they will just flow yeah yeah and another thing last but not the least is meditate or journal in the mornings um they say this is the best time to journal because 
it keeps you calm balanced and anxiety free and if journaling is the in journaling is the first step on your journey to being productive because if you are able to center your thoughts and emotions you will be focused with the next task at hand and that's a very good explanation because you can actually be able to do a lot of stuff after you know what you are supposed to do as of that day yeah so i hope you've learned something new and i hope these are some of the things that you do personally in your life if you do please comment down below that what really works for you i would really love to know i read all your comments and i reply them so continue being productive guys continue being productive because this it gives you a lot of satisfaction when you know you're actually doing something for yourself yeah i'll see you guys on the next video stay tuned stay safe and stay blessed i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye